All right, guys, today we got these wear plates. I don't know if you can see it. This side right here, the bucket was bouncing back and forth, so we got to replace them. Got some nice little cutouts. So today I'm going to be using the air gouge. I'm just going to blow out all this weld, clean it up. We got my lines marked. That way I know exactly where to weld these things, and uh, let's get after it. All right, so I got the air gouge out. I like to run about 215 to 220 amps. I like running uh, eighth inch rods. Seems to work pretty well for the application that I'm using it for. Once I find that crack, try to use a little pick and hammer, try to separate the metal. You can see it's kind of giving me a little bit of a fight, but we'll get it. I like to preheat my metal. Always, always preheat the metal. Even in the summertime, you, you won't think it has any moisture in it. As soon as you put that heat on it, you will watch all that water kind of dissipate. Right now I'm running a dual shield. I like to run about 300 wire speed and anywhere from 25 to 26 amps. right here with the air gouge it's nice you find that little crack in the weld and you just follow it all the way around pretty clean you take your grinder not not a huge mess to clean up it's pretty nice
a new coupler on the loader and the coupler wear plates were pretty worn out so we didn't want that bucket bouncing around anymore and it's a nice tight fit everything looked good all right well that wraps it up for today coupler's good fitment's good no wobble she's ready to go